Behold, now she follows the Lamb who was crucified for us, powerful in virginity, modesty, her offering, the sacrifice on the altar of chastity. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the kingdom of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Lucy, um, Virgin and Martyr. She goes back to the uh, early days of the church. We see her name in the Roman canon. Um, she grew up uh, and, and lived her life in Syracuse, Sicily, not New York. Um, uh, probably of Greek descent. Her mother had a Greek name. Um, her mother was widowed when Lucy was just five, um, but uh, raised her daughter as a Christian. And uh, Lucy was inspired by uh, another uh, young martyr from the, also in the Roman canon, St. Agatha, from about 50 miles away in Catania in Sicily. And so uh, Lucy decided um, she would dedicate uh, uh, her life to God and, and remain uh, a virgin and celibate. Um, unfortunately, her mother didn't realize she had made that promise to God. Her mother uh, arranged a marriage for her um, and it accepted a dowry. And uh, it, uh, when Lucy explained this to her, her mother was supportive of her, but uh, her betrothed was not. And uh, he threatened to uh, report her to the officials if she didn't uh, acquiesce and become his wife. Um, he was not Christian. And uh, uh, she refused, and he went to the Roman prefect. Um, this is during the uh, emperorship of Diocletian, who was persecuting Christians at the time. So she was uh, given the option of uh, uh, offering sacrifice to the gods, namely to Diocletian, uh, or die. And uh, uh, well, actually they uh, had a terrible uh, slow death in mind for her. They were gonna haul her off uh, to a brothel. Um, you know, the, the tradition on it holds that she refused to go and no soldiers could pull her from her chair. And at one point even tied her to an ox. The yank her off of it, the ox couldn't move her. And so she ended up being beheaded. Um, uh, she became an inspiration uh, to the early church. Um, and we, we see that with her. She shows up in the, the martyrology in the first Eucharistic prayer. Um, uh, she is famous around the world um, uh, for a, an Italian girl from uh, Sicily. Uh, she has, there's a special promise for her in Scandinavia. That, uh, uh, her name means light. We see it comes from lux, uh, the Latin word for light. And uh, as we are approaching the darkest uh, time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, um, today in uh, uh, the Scandinavian countries, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, um, they have these great St. Lucy pageants where uh, young girls wear a crown of candles, uh, light. Um, uh, going on, and so uh, uh, her fame continues to this day. As we begin our celebration, we prepare ourselves to meet our God in the sacrament, taking a moment of quiet reflection, finding those moments of grace and offering God thanksgiving, seeking God's forgiveness for our own sins. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners to redemption. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the glorious intercession of the Virgin and Martyr St. Lucy give us a new heart, we pray, O Lord, so that we may celebrate her heavenly birthday in this present age, and so we hold things eternal. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Be seated, listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of Numbers. When Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel encamped, tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came upon him. 
and he gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor. The utterance of a man whose eye is true. The utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows. Of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. They're like gardens beside a stream, like the cedars planted by the Lord. His wells shall yield free flowing waters. He shall have the sea within reach. His king shall rise higher, and his royalty shall be exalted. Then Balaam gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of a man whose eye is true, the utter utterance of one who hears what God says, the, and one and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, and raptures, and with eyes unveiled. I see him, though not now. I behold him, though not near. A star shall advance from Jacob, and shall, a staff shall rise from Israel. The word of the Lord. Our response is, teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Alleluia. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Alleluia. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and asked, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question. And if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or of human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, if we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowds, for they all regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, we do not know. Jesus said, himself said to them, neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The gospel of the Lord. A reading from the book of Numbers uh, it goes back to the, the book of Numbers, one of those first five books of the, the Bible, the Pentateuch, um, uh, the story of, of creation and the, the, the choosing of God's people. And uh, in this, uh, this part of the, the book, of this part of the, the Pentateuch, the Israelites are on the verge of getting to the promised land. Um, Forty years of wandering are, are coming to an end and they're about to enter there. And a prophet comes to them. Now, what's unusual is that Balaam was not one of their prophets. He was not uh, a, a believer in the Hebrew God. In fact, um, he was exactly the opposite. And he was sent there to do exactly the opposite. He was uh, sent by the Babylonian king down there as he uh, heard of this uh, wandering nation about to, to enter uh, this area and uh, was really sent there with a warning for them telling them that uh, if they didn't want trouble, they had better uh, 
line up before the, the Babylonian king and fealties there. But God had a different idea. He, he took Balaam and instead of having him utter, uh, this, you know, convey this message from, from the Babylonian king, uh, God makes him his own prophet. And he, he has him give uh, four predictions to them, or four oracles. Um, uh, and today's reading, we have the, the, the second two of these. And uh, these two um, uh, were uh, powerful for the, the ancient Hebrews, but they also become powerful for the early church. That the, especially the fourth, of the, the fourth and final of these oracles predicts that um, there's going to be a king arriving, uh, a great king will arise, there'll be a star in the, in the firmament, and, and his, his authority will be unquestioned. Um, the, the ancient Israelites looked upon this as being a, a prediction of the coming of David, um, and perhaps even the coming of Solomon, David's son, um, who, uh, under whose leadership the, the, the kingdom of Israel reached its, its greatest and highest highest point. Um, and in one sense, the Christians look upon it that way too, that uh, we are getting to the Davidic dynasty, uh, but we're looking at the last person, uh, Jesus of Nazareth. And we see this as a, as a prediction of, of, of the real king who will become the king of all things, the king of kings, uh, the Lord of lords. Um, and uh, when we, we read of uh, a star shall advance from Jacob that uh, brings to mind the star that guided the, the shepherds to the, to the stable, the star that, that brought the, the Magi uh, to the newborn king, um, the, the star that predicted uh, the, the, uh, a new king of Israel uh, would be arising. And, and so we begin our, our third week of, of Advent with this, this prediction looking forward to the fulfillment of, of these prophecies um, and, and prophecies uh, that weren't homegrown. Uh, they didn't come from uh, a Hebrew uh, uh, prophet uh, building up uh, the story that was already, already there. These came from a prophet from a far off country who had no knowledge of the God of, of the covenant, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, and, and, and with that, it carries all the more power. Let's gather our prayers and bring them before our God. We offer this mass today for uh, our friend Ben Thielen. Um, uh, we ask that God welcome him uh, to paradise, that he's been comfort uh, his mom and dad and siblings. Uh, his many friends, uh, uh, especially uh, his, his friends from uh, in the Grand Traverse School. Uh, for this we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. We pray for peace in our world. We ask that God's peace come to the minds and hearts of all men and women. But we ask in a special way that God's peace uh, come upon uh, Ben's family and friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. We pray for the church in gratitude. For God's word and God's sacraments, we pray to the Lord. Lord pray for our nation, ask that God watch over it. God bless our leaders with, with his wisdom. God watch over and protect all those charged with our safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord pray for our Ministry of Catholic Education. Um, ministry begun by the Holy Family, continued today and shown very powerfully with the, the prayers that have come forth from our schools. Uh, for our departed friend Ben, we pray to the Lord. Lord pray for the sick in our community. Remember the uh, Buells, uh, those who've been uh, stricken with COVID and all of those in need of God's healing grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord for your intention. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, 
Loving God, we come before you, bringing our hopes and desires. These few we've given voice, others are held silently in our hearts, but all of them we offer to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. It is the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual gift. Pray, my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Lord, Loving God, who gladden us today with the annual commemoration of St. Lucy, graciously grant that we may be helped by her merits, just as our lives are lit up by the splendor of her example of chastity and fortitude. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and every right to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Lucy, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all home. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the we thought, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Give us Francis, our Pope, Bishop Walter, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Benjamin, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles, 
Lucy and your martyrs, St. Francis, St. Clair, St. Benjamin, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs of eternal life. And they praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching. Let's raise our voices in the prayer given to the church by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. He said, the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a greeting of God's peace. Lamb of God, take away. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. The Lamb who's at the center of the throne will lead them to the springs of the waters of life. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on St. Lucy a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant we pray through the powers of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.